Today we'll do a short lesson on inserting art into text. This is called inline art or anchored objects. Anchoring is a good term to use because the art becomes part of a line of type and will move when the type moves. In Book Design Made Simple, we used anchored objects fairly often, as you can see on this page. It's quite easy to learn the simple trick to do this. I will show you on another page. Here you can see I've got two little objects and I'm going to try to insert them into the text. So I'll zoom in so I, you can watch what I'm doing. You can insert PDFs. This is a little PDF or any other kind of image or a shape that you draw in InDesign like this one. We'll start with our horse. The first thing we need to do is make it approximately the right size. So I'm going to use my free transform tool and hold down shift and make it a little smaller. That looks maybe about right. I'll go back to my selection tool and I'm going to select the horse and then copy it, which is command C or control C or edit copy. And I'm right away I'm going to switch to the text tool. So I've got the text tool and I'm going to add a space in the place where I want the horse to go. Add a space, put the cursor between the two spaces. Now I've still got the text tool going and I'm going to paste, which is command V or control V. Now this horse is too high, so I'm going to use baseline shift up here to move it down. Now it's too big also, and it turns out that you can still size the horse if you want to. Just get your selection tool, select the horse, and use your free transform tool to make it smaller. Now when you ha are showing it with your selection tool, you can see a little anchor there. That means that you've successfully anchored it in your text. I'm going to do the same thing with this little shape just to show you one more time for practice. Select the shape, copy the shape, switch to the text tool, find the right place in the text, add a space, put the cursor between the two spaces, and paste. Select your anchored object with the text tool, Go to Baseline Shift, make it go down, and remember you can use thousands of a point in your Baseline Shift if you want to, so I'm going to do that 2.67 points. That looks pretty good, and I'll show you the whole thing using Preview Mode. Not bad at all. So now you know the simple trick to adding anchored objects to text.